Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 5.2a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 5 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a bank and it receives a check for, we've got this number here, $2,609.75. And so that's given to us in word form. So they've spelled that out in words. We've been looking at word form for several years now. And then they want us to translate that into expanded notation. So we need to somehow connect those two. So let's see if we can first at least figure out what this word form is. What I want to do is I want to translate that into standard form. So standard form is just numbers, just what we're used to. So it looks like we're going to go to the thousands place here. I'm seeing 2,000 and I'm seeing 2,000. So let's do this. Let's just, just going to give myself a little bit of room. I'm going to just spell these out here. I'm going to put a decimal. There we go. And we're talking about dollars here. So sure, let's go ahead and put our dollar sign over here. So we need to know that our largest place is the thousands. I'm just going to put thousands here. Now we're going to move over here. We've got the hundreds, tens, ones. Now we're used to the ones being the one place that's the farthest to the right, but remember this decimal gets us into a place value that is less than one. So if we can imagine this decimal kind of being like a wall, the ones is always the one closest to the wall on the left side, but once we get smaller than one, right, then we get into tenths, right, all of our place values start having the THS, hundredths, Money doesn't have thousandths, but we know thousandths, and it goes so on and so forth. And so what we would do is if we wanted to, we could put our, uh, we can put our number here. So we've got 2,000, all right, so that's pretty easy right there, 600, all right, so we can do six in the hundred spot. If you lay it out like this, they actually kind of give you the answer right here, nine. So nine, that's kind of a tricky one. It goes in the ones place. And 75 cents, right? So we're going to put 75 cents. So we've got a blank. That's always kind of a trick is they don't always give you a digit for every single place value. So 609, that looks like 609 right there. And so I've got my $2,609 and 75 cents. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my, let's just go ahead and put some digits right here. Thousand, hundred, ten, one. I'm going to put my tenth, and I'm going to put my hundredth. Now we do all this work, and we're thinking we haven't even looked at A, B, C, or D. Well, guess what? This is going to give us our answer for A, B, C, or D. Because look how we build this number. We take our digit in the thousands place, and we multiply it by its value. So that's multiplied by a thousand. We take our digit in the hundreds place. We always start from the largest, six, and we multiply it by its value. We're going to skip to tens just because it's a zero. Anything times zero is zero. So we're going to just put a big plus right there. We're going to take our digit in the ones place, 9, times the value. Even these smaller ones, digit in the tenths place, 7, times it by its value, 0 0.1. Digit in the hundredths place, 5, multiplied by its value, and guess what? We have our answer here. So we are, this one makes this one incorrect right here. I'm thinking B, yep, and B is our answer.